Welcome back. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer accusing FBI Director Christopher Wray of defying a congressional subpoena. Comer is threatening to hold Wray in contempt of Congress if he refuses to turn over the single unclassified document, which could tie then-Vice President Joe Biden to a bribery scheme. Kaylee, uh, Comer has already subpoenaed this document. The FBI is pushing back. They don't want to release it. Yeah, and I'll admit that I've been kind of skeptical that James Comer actually has the goods on this, but the FBI's deliberate stonewalling actually makes me second-guess my opinion on this. And it, I especially don't trust the FBI after the very long-documented history of abuse within the agency. We just saw this last week with the Durham report. So, I mean, House Republicans need to do everything they can at this point to hold the FBI accountable to actually find out if there is evidence tying Biden to this scheme, because if that is true, it's a massive national security scandal, and it needs to be rectified immediately. Absolutely. Well, just to be clear, Cheryl, we already have bank records. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So we have some evidence already that the Biden family has received money from communist China, among other countries. Um, for what business? We have no idea. We, we talked about this last hour. We also have the laptop, those emails. I mean, that is at, that is out. That is in the public purview, if you will. But, you know, the, the, obviously, with, and I agree with Kaylee, I mean, at this point, I think there is some pressure on Comer to actually produce. I mean, but it, to be stonewalled from the FBI, no one is shocked by that. But I think what's more interesting here is the path forward, because with those bank records, and there's more coming. Yeah. You know, we, we, we've at least heard from four banks. Right. He says there's more. 12. Yes. We said, so we, those, if you follow the money trail, that circumvents the stonewalling that he's obviously getting from, uh, uh, let's just go ahead and say the Biden administration. Well, We're it, using the FBI. It's, it's scary to think what happens next. I mean, if you mm -hmm. actually get the evidence in this document that ties Biden to this bribery scheme, uh, You've got to believe that Republicans will move to impeach Joe Biden. I mean, we've got a new Fox News poll finding 64 percent of the country does not consider Joe Biden a strong leader. Fifty one percent say that former President Trump is a strong leader. You've got that underlying everything else here uh, in terms of corruption, Mark. You know, I, and I believe that most Democrat voters, they 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 knew they knew President Biden's situation going into the 2020 election. It was more important for them to vote against Trump, though. It didn't matter who was on the ticket. They were voting against Trump. Um, but when you look at, at the qualities of, of Donald Trump versus Joe Biden, with Donald Trump, you had a, a CEO, a decision maker, a guy who stood his ground, a master negotiator. The problem was, for a lot of people, or maybe, maybe not a lot of people, for some people, he was too crass, too abrasive. Mm. Okay. With President Biden, we have a guy who's crass and abrasive, who doesn't have any of those leadership qualities at all, right? So it's not like the one issue people had with Donald Trump is even being solved yeah. with President Biden. And here we have these polls showing uh, Trump, uh, the public thinks Trump is the leader, Biden is not, on the day that Ron DeSantis announces his candidacy, Kayla. Yeah. yeah, and what's remarkable about, remarkable about these poll findings is that they come in spite of Democrats' very deliberate attempts to paint Trump as the corrupt official. We had the Russia Gate hoax. We had the two impeachments. We now have the Alvin Bragg case. We have the Georgia case. All of these cases are meant to look Ma meant to make Trump look like the corrupt official. Voters see right through they that. Do. They see, see right, right through that, and they I think see it's the Biden Trump. scandal I think for what it Trump. is. Yeah. yeah, I think, but I think also too. I mean, I think going back to to Hunter Biden and, and to these to these LLCs that we've talked about so much. I mean, we still are waiting for more details from the committee, from James Comer's committee, yeah. on what is in those bank records. But again, you've got to have a forensic accountant or maybe ten yeah. uh, on your staff. And I don't know if Comer has that, but that's what it's going to take to actually unwind these transactions. But once you do, that is when you present that evidence. Yeah. And I think that that's when the tide turns. And the mainstream media is going to have to cover. Yeah. <laughs> have to cover. Don't this. bet on it.